A man in Baldwin County Sheriff's investigators believe is responsible for at least 30 vehicle break ins is behind bars after a high speed chase and crash. This happened early Sunday morning when deputies spotted the suspect's vehicle in Gulf Shores. As our house sheriff found out, this arrest is the result of a months long investigation where deputies say vacationers were being targeted. Over the last few months, investigators identified 32 year old Michael Todd Whittington as a suspect in an ongoing string of vehicle break ins. Deputies spotted his car just before 6 a.m. Sunday, leaving Gulf Shores and attempted to stop him. That's when they say Whittington fled north on Highway 59. He was definitely a person of interest and he was in a vehicle of interest. So at that point, the stop was attempted to be made in the morning of the 30th. High speed uh, chase ensued. Um, it continued on all the way up into Foley and literally actually ended at South Paul Medical Center. That's where deputies say Whittington crashed and was arrested after running over spike strips. With Sunday's arrest, deputies hope it brings this run of thefts to an end. Purses, cash, and guns are the items investigators say were taken most by Whittington over the last few months along the Fort Morgan Peninsula. At the time of the arrest, five guns were recovered. They say had just been stolen from vehicles that night. Altogether, 12 firearms have been reported stolen along with an unspecified number of purses and cash. This is something that's been going on since April. I mean, it, it gets frustrating. You know, you want to be able to protect the community at large and make people feel safe, not just in their own community, but people that are visiting. You don't want to give the vibe off like, hey, it's the Wild West here in Baldwin County because it's not. Investigators say Whittington established a pattern striking in the early morning hours of Sundays, Mondays and Tuesdays following the cycle of new tourists checking in. Of the seven other stolen guns, five are still unaccounted for. The other two were found by tourists in Gulf waters in the last few weeks. It's bizarre and again two of the weapons were found basically on low tide on a sandbar in the Gulf just relatively close to shore. Um, it gives the vibe that maybe they got spooked or somebody got spooked after they had stolen and they just slung the guns to keep from, you know, maybe if they were caught having them on their person at the time. Right now, Michael Whittington is in the Baldwin County Jail. He's charged with attempting to elude a police officer, reckless endangerment, resisting arrest, and possession of a pistol by a violent felon. Investigators tell me the breaking and entering charges will come property that has been recovered is matched up with the individual victims. Live from Investigations Command, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.